guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now guys, in this video, I'm going to be sowing some seeds of Mammillaria spinosima. Now what makes this extra special for me is because this, these seeds are actually from a plant that sadly died uh, last year. It had a very, very bad case of uh, mealybug and I tried to treat it, but obviously with Mammillaria cacti, especially the spinosima, the, the spines are so tight together that I picked up as many as I could and I did have to use a um, systemic insecticide, but it didn't work. Unfortunately, the mealies were just indestructible and you do sometimes get them where it doesn't matter what you do you cannot get rid of them so thankfully um i well thankfully i managed to get some seed because it produced some wonderful seed pods so um to have this plant carry on living this way is absolutely wonderful and um, me and my amazing fiance hans we've been sowing a few lots of seeds um the past few days and that and doing having lots and lots of fun making videos so um watch out for some more future seed sowing videos coming from the skies um we hoping our plans to open a online cactus and succulent nursery in the future selling uh, cuttings and little baby uh, cacti and succulents so um stay tuned for that guys and um, what i'm gonna be doing in this video is obviously um this isn't a how to grow cacti from seed video because i've already made a video to that and links up above to that video um on how how to grow cacti from seed if you haven't seen it already that goes into the whole procedure about um, sterilizing the soil and um, what I use for the soil mix and everything like that so this is just a video of me sowing these uh, Mammillaria spinosima seeds and um, obviously because we're sowing a few seeds at the moment um, doing an update video on all the seedlings um, over the coming weeks and months so stay tuned guys now um, what I've done in this case Sterilizing the soil is a purely optional thing to do. You, you don't have to do this. Many um, cactus growers have great success with just using um, soil, but um, it's always a good idea to sterilize the soil, either in the microwave or the oven at high temperature. Um, as I explain in a lot more detail in the video in how to grow cacti from seed, um, because this does help to reduce any um, uh, bugs in the soil and also um, things like fungi and bacteria as well oops <laughs> table's a bit wobbly there but um again it's an optional thing and um using the baggy method by putting them in the bags again an optional thing in this case i'm not going to be doing that in this video because i've tried a few different methods and um, with this one i'm actually going to be using some clear cling film over the top so it's still keeping it in a, um, a greenhouse environment um, but i'm going to be keeping a close eye on it and see how well how they go how they go over the coming weeks and months and um Obviously, the soil I've used is a loam-based compost, a loam-based soil, I should say, Johnnings, and also with extra horticultural sand and also um, add, added grit as well for extra drainage. As I say, I'll go into the whole procedure with that in how to grow cacti from seed video. <laughs> now, um, with this video here, sorry, with this um, video, I'm only going to sow probably half the packet of seeds. I've got the one um, seed tray here and there's loads of seeds in here and I'm going to be separating because this plant is no longer alive it's very special that I keep it going so by putting this into two different seed trays if God forbid that anything happened with this seed tray fungus and diet damping off and I lost the seed the seedlings at least I've got the other one for a bit of a uh, extra um <laughs> bit of extra confidence you know and likely they're both going to go so what I'm going to be doing here is probably just half the packet and I don't need to show the video of the sowing the other one, obviously not. Um, and there, like so, like so. <laughs> and then I'm going to be sprinkling them just on the surface here. And obviously when it comes to um, sowing cactus seeds, you always want to make sure that they're sort of separated as much as possible. It's difficult when very, very tiny seeds like this, it's difficult to sort of put them on when they don't all sort of come out all together. But try and spread them apart so when they do germinate, they've got a little bit of room to um to grow and uh sprinkle them like pepper over the top <laughs> and that's it and then um what i recommend doing now you can obviously when it comes to um, watering you can either water the soil that, that the pot beforehand by letting the water take up underneath and then sprinkling the seeds on 
or you can water after. In this case, I'm watering afterwards. The reason means the seeds are very, very tiny and by um, spraying them with a spray can, it's going to help to push them down into the top of the surface of the soil. But um, the reason why I don't recommend using the watering can is that if you water straight away, you can, the seeds are so light, it can come straight up to the top and go straight over and you lose the seeds. Also, don't try sowing seeds outside because even on a calm day, the seeds can be so fine, they can just blow away everywhere unless you're obviously sowing gardening seeds outdoor gardening obviously but with cactus seeds always do them indoors and um, I'm preferring to use rainwater because our water here is very high uh, high in lime so um, it's good to use rainwater again spraying in it pushes the seeds straight into the soil thoroughly soaking like that and obviously when it comes to germinating cactus and succulent seeds they always like a, a preferably a temperature about anything from sort of 75 to um, 85 um, as in this case this is the spring and summer that I'm doing this so this is perfect temperature but if you're doing this in the winter I wouldn't really recommend it unless you have extra heat and you have grow lamps um, because otherwise if not it can uh, they can grow spindly and often take a very long time, if at all, when it's cold and lack of light. So this is a good time of year. Any time really from sort of May up until August is a great time of year for sowing uh, cactus and succulent seeds. Obviously, the springtime from sort of May, June is the best because they've got a good chance to um, germinate and get themselves sort of hardened, hardened off a little bit before the winter kicks in. And... Um, there you go. So now obviously what you need to do then is obviously label, I'm going to be labeling um, these, what they are and the date I've sown them as well. So it gives you an idea of how long it took for them to germinate and what age they are. And um, that's really all there is to it. And uh, stay tuned for future updates, guys. We've got, I'll just show you here, um, me and Han's got loads and loads of seeds on the go. Look at that, guys. We're germinating loads. So it's all exciting stuff. <laughs> and um, I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus power as always from ireland and until the next video guys bye